I have to start with congratulating the organizers of this event for this marvelous event, which uh, is taking place with 800 people in the beautiful Rheingau and a list of participants and events and subjects, which you, I have called in my opening remarks the Mini Davos. Congratulations. Today you have an innovation fair, you have a career fair, you have all sorts of closed workshops, so I think the breadth of the offer is really much more diverse than what we used to have. Es zeigt natürlich die Chance für junge Leute, sich zu orientieren und eine Perspektive für ihren eigenen weiteren Berufsweg zu entwickeln. Und das im Dialog mit erfolgreichen Partnern, aber auch mit Leuten, die auf der gleichen Ausgangsbasis sind, nämlich sich für eine Zukunft entscheiden zu müssen. Und dafür leistet es einen ziemlich guten Beitrag. The atmosphere is very engaged, very professional and what was quite surprising for me is we had some business discussions and the questions I received from the students and the people around were exactly the same questions that we have uh, internally raised. Actually there are so many um, opportunities still with VR and we try to explore them all. It's inspiring to be exposed to so many diamonds in the rough, excellent students from all over the world that come together here um, and want to learn from us, but also want to learn from each other. The automotive industry is like currently really, really changing a lot. So we want to have people who live that change, who think differently, question things and try to do it in another way around. I would like to take the contacts of many people. I would like to take the international exposure. I would like to take the international experience and how the corporate works. It's interesting to work together with all these students and see what ideas they have and how they push forward and they really want to shape the future of tomorrow. Long-term thinking, willingness to be misunderstood, learning and stay curious, these are all good ingredients. I invite you to break barriers, it's really fun, do it. For me personally, it was courage, it was not being afraid of making mistakes or failures, it was not being afraid of uncertain assignments and challenges. It's about resilience and it's about curiosity and it's about trust in good people. My wisdom, I guess, for all of you is that uh, as smart as I know everyone is that's here and has great IQ, don't forget the EQ. I'm currently at the corporate cruise. I've got a golden ticket from BCG to be here tonight. I'm really excited. It's actually culture and individual mindset that actually truly enables that breaking of barriers, that enables cooperation. This is the age of partnerships. There's no other way to cope with the challenges of that digital, of that tech intense age that we're in. So therefore, super relevant motto. It's all about uh, really focusing and having a clear goal. And if you then work hard, study hard, and have some patience, success will come. Where attention goes, energy flows. Where energy flows, life grows. Wenn du etwas verändern willst und du kannst es nicht machen, dann weil du die Mehrheiten nicht hast, weil die Widerstände zu stark sind, dann ist immer das Motto nie aufgeben. Thank you to all partners, speakers and participants of this year's EBS Symposium. 30 years of opportunities, 30 years of inspiring speeches and 30 years of networking for students from all over the world. We are truly appreciative and incredibly proud to share this tradition with you. Let's break barriers together and don't forget, it's not a chance unless you take it. <laughs>